White is playing their position quite badly by sticking their business in a North America that I really had no, no choice but to go through, right? What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along, ride with me, folks. We're playing Fixed Friday Live. Starting off the stream with Fixed Friday, lady. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the second seat playing as Magenta. How's everybody doing today? Welcome in, folks. Welcome in. Um, I have a big old six stack in the middle of the board. Don't hate that. I'm going to continue to stack on it uh, and hope that I can consolidate my other six into that position. Obviously, we spend the three in Australia. Hopefully, engender some goodwill from our white ally member in the first position. Got Leif Lovejoy flying the flag of Kazakhstan. I'm in the second position playing as Magenta. In the third position, the purple player is General Sakata, 19634 from Germany. Uh, in the fourth position, we have an easy AI in yellow. In the fifth seat, Eric Newitz playing as Black from USA. And finally, the red player is Talmadge Sane, also from USA. I'll show you guys the settings quick. Playing World Domination on Classic Auto 90 with beginner bot fixed cards, balance blitz, dice, lights are on, fog, blizzard portals are off. Okay. I know Canadians have a weird imperial and metric mix, don't we? <coughs> what are you playing? I'm playing Classic Fixed. Love it. Live for it. Losing the two. Okay. Okay. Yellow bot would like North America. Oh, baby. Yellowbot would aggressively like North America. All right. There is hopefully some world where I can move my six and my nine, six and nine into each other. Oh, baby. What's six feet tall? You don't know? What's six feet tall? The peepman. First time watching, what's up, Lucy T? Welcome, Lucy. Hello. Born Seal Gare. Thank you for the prime. Hello, hello. Guys, welcome in, folks. Welcome, Adam Daniels. 13 months. Fuck yeah, man. You guys are very generous. I appreciate you all. Thank you for hanging. Super Tuscan. Pete, my wife, binge watches all of your YouTube videos and obsessed with watching you play Risk. Currently at work, I thought I'd stop by and let you know you've basically taken my wife. Take my wife. Please. And <laughs> what is up, Mrs. Super Tuscan 888? Everyone's being super generous at the beginning of the stream. This is fucking awesome. Thank you, King Jeria. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bowling Back. See, what's really cool to me is, is now seeing these sub streaks that you guys have been um, very generously treating me to. I think I can continue to MIDI stack. Hopefully, this is a so so. This is an interesting decision. Oh, I should have I should have uh, switched to manual. Okay, so I mean purple. This is an interesting play too. I think we spend this, and we lose a troop there as well. All right, I was trying to indicate. My uh, my favorability to white. So I could roll the 2v1 manual into white, which is not a friendly play, or I could roll it into the red, which was a friendly play. But in, alas, I did not get a troop that way. So I misclicked and didn't switch to manual. We got to forget about it with the prime. Don't tell me to forget about it. You forget about it. Get so much knowledge and enjoyment from your videos. Back at you, man. You forget about it. <laughs> Sending the love to you, sir. Bernie Sharp with the Prime. We love Pete. I love you too, man. This is fucking great. It's it's really really cool to go live. Oh boy. Oh Perpy boy. No Perpy. Oh Perpy's in trouble with that play. I think. I don't think that works out the way he he hoped it would. <laughs> yeah, it was like fuck. Okay, interesting. Uh, Born says, hey, Pete, started watching you several months ago on YouTube. First time on stream. Recently hit Master for the first time because of you primarily playing. Classic fix. Here we are. Stupak says, good luck in Legends semis and GM winner's bracket. Hope to meet you in the finals in Legends. Still in GM as well, but much smaller. Chance. Don't count yourself out yet there, Mr. Stupak. It ain't over till it's over. And uh, without a doubt, even maybe not one of these, but we shall 
meet each other, I'm sure, before too long. Purple needs that extra two troops. They do. The issue, though, is I have a four stack here, so I'm hopeful that the bot doesn't totally pooch it and exhaust some of its material on purple in North America. Also, black being very clever, letting red get the line in, or rather, letting red get the troops out. I like that play for black. Black knows how to play. Let's just make sure that everybody who would like to ally me has a chance to ally me. White takes uh, Australia here. Thank you, Natester, with the tier one sub. 11 months. That's fantastic. Be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Uh, I am not the wife of the guy above, but my husband started watching your videos forever. He suckered me in. Now I am the one that watches your streams and videos, and I've learned a lot. Now I'm an expert. Let's go, kitten. Meow. Okay. Um. I still, I still hate my board position. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Red would like Europe, obviously. It's going to come down to cards, I think. Maybe I have a line into North America, depending. So this is how we do it. We see which way the cookie crumbles, but now we obviously don't. We don't just let Red get away with a free Europe. <laughs> Also interested to see what happens with purple. Okay, I do have a 10 set on three. Oh, and I have the plus two on both. That's great. It's a 12 set on three. Just what we need. Adam Daniels, can we get a recap of where you are in all the tourneys right now? Not points or anything, just final semifinals. How are you feeling? Sure. I'm in five competitions at the moment. I'm still alive in PRT Cup. We made the Octo Finals. I'm in the finals of the winner's bracket for uh, the GM Tournament Season 10, which is... Essentially, like, if I win, I go to the finals. Ah! All right, we don't have that choice. Purple says, no, fuck you. I'm not giving you the choice. I like that. Purple's super weak, though, and they're going to get fucked with my yellow. So how do we win, given that? I mean, I could ram them in the ass. That could be fun. Just go, whoop <laughs> That could be really fun, actually. All their material is over there. But then I'm fighting the bot in North America. So yeah, I'm in the Legend semi. So Legends five semifinals, GM ten pseudo semifinals, winners bracket semifinals. So if I win, I go to the finals. If I lose, I go to the losers bracket. And I still have a chance to play for finals. Uh, PRT Cup, Octos, PRT, uh, Im Invitational finals, and I think those are the five tournaments I'm in. Legends, GM, PRT, PRT. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, I, after two weeks, I'm at the top of the card um, playing week three in a stacked group too. So that's where we're at. Those are the five competitions I'm in. Having a great, great run as of late. Wish me luck, folks. All right, we're in a single position. I'm so lucky I got cards on three guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Question here. Do we f with purple? We do. I think we just kill him, right? Yeah, basically unrecoverable game for purple here. Oh, he's got the set, but it's only six trade. Run! Run! That's why you don't hit an unnecessary four, you monkey! Oh, we got a karaoke from Steve Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Footloose. Hmm. I wonder, can I do Footloose? Beat the extra two troops would have helped after hitting a big... Yeah, well, I mean, he's, you know, whatever. <laughs> he, he made his play, and I made mine. Now I'm the South America player. This guy doesn't really seem to know how to play, so he, he will die. And the bot will help me kill him, ideally. Okay. So now I run up into Venezuela and I guard on Venezuela. Black will take 
Africa. Red will take. Oh, baby. <laughs> Purple is a big trib. <laughs> this is great. All right. I got an okay line of the bot kill in a couple of turns. Maybe I pivot to North America, actually. Okay, Black sets gets the 10 here. Black doesn't ally me, which is interesting. What's up, King Golly? Hello, the old Bateman. How are you? What's up, Goatman? Been a few months. Hey, where you been, Goatman? Pete does prefer to sing songs from musicals. Incorrect. Fake news, Lamas. Fake news. He's lying. He's lying to you, Steve. Don't trust him. If Pete catches me with my newborn son, get him into the game early. What's up, little Dunloops? Dunloops Jr., how are you? Welcome to the world. Sir. Young man, it is a it is a wide one for you to discover. I cannot I cannot imagine what a lovely all sorts of lovely things you have to look forward to. Interesting that we see white fucking around North America. Maybe what's lining up for the yellow kill? The original Footloose with Kevin Bacon is a classic, I'm sure. Kenny Loggins, eh? The logster log jamming. All right. I'm not going to threaten black. Obviously I'll take South America here. Line up on Venezuela. If black breaks me, he breaks me. I don't think he does. Um, and I also don't necessarily feed the purple kill. So this is an okay position for turn four turn five. Yeah. Turn five. Yeah. Now he accepts. Cool. You got it. I'll go the other way. And then we cool like that. We should slam Oz. <laughs> That's not really my style. Though. Uh, have I managed to sell the snowplow? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, uh, pretty much out of the snow business now. So waiting for everything to shake out, but, uh, very interested in making full-time content for the people. Uh, see what you guys enjoy the show. Of course I, uh, I serve at, at your behest. But no, it's a really cool job. <laughs> this is fun as shit for me, right? So what's the metal like on risk? Um, well, caps rules are broken. First thing to remember, you have to play caps in order to get to the top of the leaderboard, but caps rules are broken. So it's somewhat volatile. Yeah, and the bot continues to target purple. So nobody's in North America. So I'm definitely going to work on North America a lot, unless red pivots to it. I don't think red should. Having a bot be in Europe is better for me. Okay. Do we see red work on Europe here? Okay, they take the six trade. <laughs> what else is there to slam? You can't win without odds. This is a correct statement. But uh, he does take Europe, right? Hits all three. Yes. Okay. That actually feeds me the purple kill. Unless. No, I can't get through a, a white nine. Feed me the purple kill. Help me out. Be a homie. Is he taking it for himself? All right, I'm in a spot. Okay, well, I can maybe get this way, but very low odds. So I'm going to hit a lot of yellow. Try and encourage it to either set in in Greenland and break red. Or... Set in in Japan and not be my problem. Set? No. Okay. 
tried to kill yellow, but I couldn't get through the white basically blocked. After I was favorable to them in Australia, they blocked me from getting the yellow kill and they didn't take it themselves. So now I want to kill white again. Um, purple could have gone for it. Didn't. What do you mean when you say you have to play caps, you get to the top of the leaderboard. Uh, so the, all the players in the top 10 play capital conquest mode. Um, there's a number of reasons why this is, but, uh, suffice to say, um, the way skill points are distributed in the leaderboard doesn't take into account a free for all game. So you are essentially overly punished when you, um, when you get to the top for your losses relative to your wins. So you, what you end up with is only a very, very safe mode like caps, right? You need long streets of wins with no losses, right? So a very, very safe mode like caps is the only way to get to the top. Yeah, that was what I didn't want to happen. Okay, that was sort of what I did want to happen. Okay, cool. So we do slow down red. That's fine. White needs to get the fuck out of my face, though. He's putting a 17 stack in uh, Alaska is unfriendly to the Peatman. Black removes my Asia position. Sure. All right. Interested to see how this cookie is going to crumble, man. Change your name to fix the ranking system? I did that. <laughs> Were you around back then, Johnny? When I did that? <laughs> Johnny's referring to a protest that I uh, spearheaded on the leaderboard like two years ago nearly um, where we got a bunch of players in the top 100 to change your name to fix the ranking system and I mean something was accomplished we, we managed to decouple 1v1s from uh, uh, free for all right back then 1v1s and free for all were in the same ranking system Just obviously everyone at the top played 1v1s okay let's see Okay, so white is now going to limit purple to a single position and hopefully line up against them. This guy's sitting in my bonus, man. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I could play this. This move gives me a lot of leverage. I could move into Asia. Play the itinerant stack in Asia play. Um, <laughs> please noob slam Australia. I would love to see a noob slam right here. Punish white for sticking their fucking business in my bonus. Game solo T. Pete, you need to do something about the pink player. They're about to snowball the game. That's that is I. But I don't know if I'm about to snowball. Okay, we don't see the noob slam. Thank you, MST Papa, for the resub. Fixed Monday. Oh, baby. Dick down white. Lol. <laughs> the old dickerino. Little dick will do you, folks. All right. Um, how's, how's my line for the yellow kill here? Is red going to help me with that? Red might feed me the yellow kill by popping a seven. Let's see. Is White upset about Australia or something? He seems to be gunning for me. Well, he's dumb if he does because I fucking helped him in Australia. So you definitely don't want to punish someone who is favorable to you. Ide ideally. I mean, unless you're just trying to fuck around. Okay. Reg if Red pops that seven, I need to set i can kill yellow and set which is better i'll probably get a 10 trade instead of a six is it friday in canada time does fly yes nope he's patient i don't know man if yellow sets on three you're f all right so the yellow kill is not good i don't want to set here I also don't really want to threaten 
black. So I don't stick my stack at the 13. I stick my stack one in. So black just doesn't feel like suddenly backdooring me for no reason. And I will be able to take cards. This position is fine. I'll kill yellow next turn if they don't set. Um, if they do set, they're still not really my problem. And I can move into Asia and take cards and do the two position essay play. Ideally, we want the bot dead, I think, but I don't really care. And as time goes, purple might think about slamming white. And white could just suddenly lose to a one-two punch. White is playing their position quite badly by, by sticking their business in, in uh, a North America that they... I, that I that I really had no no choice but to go through, right? Okay. Hey, Dat Juan Fu, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the gifted. Just need to like, could I change the way I would do lobbies? Yeah, I do the lobbies completely different. Okay, so bot does sit on four cards. Now we have a ten trade. Now we we set kill bot set. Can anyone do that? Other than me. Red red hits a bot three here. For sure. Yeah. 18 for four. Best deal in town, folks. Unless white trades and goes for it. I don't think they do, but they have a line. Set. Kill yellow. They do have a line. Let's see if they take it. What's up, bird nerd TJ? What? First time catching you alive. Hello from the Nederlands. How are ya? Another fine Dutchman. Okay. We do get the yellow kill. Red a heart. So then the question becomes, what does white do? with their stack. Because this is pretty aggressive to white, right? Hello, Sir Peachman. How are you doing today? I'm great, man. How are you? What's the average time frame in which Twitch streams make it to YouTube videos? It depends on whether or not uh, I want them to be and what I'm playing. I try to shoot about a week ahead, usually. That should give you a sense of it. You think White's going for SA? I'd trade SA for North America. He wants it. Super curious to see what White does. All right, as to the 32. Okay, goes down. All right, let's see which way he goes. It was like an, uh, that was an overt threat. 
right? Like, I'm going to remove half of your fucking troops. <laughs> and black and red are just like licking their chops. They're like, ah, this war is going to fucking heat up. Yeah. I'd be okay with letting him into SA. But I don't trust him. He he could communicate with me a bit better. He could he could indicate something. Oh yeah, we dab it on 69, folks. Dabba dabba dooba. Okay, red would like to evolve itself. Huh? Where does white go? Red wants to trade there. Let's push this guy out. Purple's still alive. Yeah, the Invitational Finals are on Sunday. So I will be streaming them. Uh, it's Europe Caps, 10 a.m. my time. So 1500 UTC Sunday. Yeah, and Purple Blocks. Okay, purple doesn't doesn't truly block. I'm trying to pivot to North America as quickly as possible. This white step out. Hey, thank you, Park Michaels. Tier one for three months in advance. That's awesome. Advance sub. Thank you. <sighs> get, get the fuck out. <laughs> All right. He kills purple. <laughs> he goes very negative on that deal. <laughs> so I'm going to indicate... I'm trying to retreat. I'm taking North America instead. And then we'll have a uh, red player getting plus five, me getting plus five, black getting plus five. If we can pull that off, then white dies. That's why you don't fuck around North America when you're the Oz player. Yeah, I'm trying to bring everything up into North America. How did Pete just do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Jedi mind trick, folks. <laughs> just hold both, no. No, I never try and hold both. Hold both doesn't work. Too greedy. We've seen you hold both before. Yeah, I think, but it, when I'm in when I'm in advantage. Right now, I'm not in advantage. Somehow, I'm still tied up with fucking red, which is pretty cool. Uh, what's up, Zadie Yama? How are ya? I'd pull everything in NA if I was white, to be honest, and leave Australia. Yes. Yeah, and bully and bully me in reverse. Yeah, right on. He didn't do that. He tried to hold on to both, and, and now he's like, now he's the Oz player. <laughs> now he's the Oz player, right? Yeah. All right. We're, we're in Oz now. You stay in Oz. You hide in your hole.
I throw a heart to black. I'm gonna pull this fortify. I'm gonna say hit me. If you want. Yeah. Because I'm not a greedy fuck. <laughs> I just want plus five and you can have plus five and then everyone's happy, right? <laughs> right? This is going so well. Well played, man. Yes. Good. I got good fucking players for a change. Now we're talking. All right. So as long as red doesn't fuck me in Greenland, which I don't see why they would. I mean, they're a turn ahead of me. We could choke out the Oz player and go top three. Greedy Pete is fine. Pete, I'm not insane greedy. I'm, I'm greedy, but playing to win still, right? <laughs> Do we see a Hero Quest live stream? That was my favorite game as a kid. Ooh. Don't know about a live stream, but uh, next time uh, my sister and her guy are in town, we play some Hero Quest. I don't know. I'll, I'll do something with it. When I receive the attack my territory, if you need to, I tend to try killing my ally. That's funny. <laughs> How, do you win a lot of your games with that strategy? <laughs> Black should stop guarding. Exactly. Yeah. This this is is less friendly after I specifically give him a bonus, but that's okay. If I can get plus five instead of plus two, I'm still happy about that. Let me just get myself another cup of coffee. And we'll be right back, folks. All right, folks. So we're still waiting on the story of how this game goes to shit. Um, looks okay for me, right? Looks okay for me. Black adds troops to the 24, though. That sucks. That's fundamentally unfriendly. I just, I don't think I add to either of the two fronts. We can cards, we can card take for a while. Nobody has advantage. Me, red, and black are equivalent. We choke out white, and then we go to a three player end game, which will be hopefully more interesting. Goatman, hey Pete, have you seen the new Napoleon movie? Curious to see if you'd like it. I really don't. I know I gave him all of SA. He's not even being friendly to me. Um, I don't watch a lot of fiction, or I guess Napoleon would be nonfiction, but uh, no, I'm, ever since I started making TV, I've watched way, way, way less of it. The only show I really watch is Jeopardy, and obviously you guys know that's a bit of a means to an end for me, right? In this situation, Phil takes Australia and waits for them to hit each other. Am I Phil? <laughs> Apparently Napoleon is as much fiction as nonfiction. Fair enough. You know what I will say? Joaquin Phoenix. Is it Joaquin Phoenix as, as Napoleon? Or am I wrong? That guy's very talented. Did we do Jeopardy already? No, I started with Risk. So um, we'll switch to, what's it called? We'll, we're, for today's show, we're going to do Risk, Variety, and then Risk. Um, he is Joaquin? Okay, yeah. Um, what would I do if I was white? Not find myself stuck in Australia. I would have gotten out of it already. I would have done something creative to avoid the fate that has befallen him. Uh, six. Sixty-nine troops, ladies and gentlemen. All right, push-ups for rewind. We do the push. We push it up, folks. If you're just sitting in your seat, you want to join me. Move your body a little bit while we play the video games. Love the slippers. Thank you. I, I enjoy my homers. Historical fiction. I see. Who's the director? Ridley Scott. Eh, Ridley Scott makes a fine film. Pete, what's your philosophy on the plus five bonus options for fixed in the three to four player end games? What's the plus? What's the negatives of each? Um... 
Not entirely sure I understand the question. Your favorite map to play? Probably Pangea. The internet already told me to hate the Napoleon movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not messing with uh, other people's opinions, right? Oftentimes there's something to it, but every once in a while there's total horseshit. You know what? Re the really, Scott film I I think is a really big film for me is Blade Runner. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the original Blade Runner because it's actually kind of it's super anachronistic right now. It's like it's it was from it was filmed in 1982. It was set in 2019, so it's it's both um, set in a now past version of the future. But um, if, if you look at the the quality of the visual effects and the way um, the just the vibe of the movie, the soundtrack by Vangelis, everything about Blade Runner, it's like if we want to talk about really Scott film, like that's the that's the end all be all for me. What's up, Buffalax? How are ya? Pete, you know I wouldn't get stuck in the white position, but let's say you were him right now. What is the best tactic? Attack red, sit and pray. Uh, yeah, best tactic is to sit and pray. I think... No, I wouldn't say that, actually. Best tactic for white is to break black. To move all of his troops here and sit. Break the parity of the board. Because Black isn't doing his job. What Black should be doing to lock down this board, if Black was good, which he isn't, is sitting here with a single stack, okay? So Black should move 24, 26, 69, and 25 all into Middle East and take cards here, like Red is doing. And then what we would have is a three-point choke on White, and White would be immobilized. Black isn't doing that. So it's actually giving White an option to destabilize the board through no longer that corridor but now now you break now you break red thank you urium thank you for the prime three months in a row Fuck yeah man breaking pete and red sitting in greenland is now an option but not when you're playing pete right because you know i'll just kill him well it's that's what that's what i was kind of getting at with it's being too late right like if if white was trying to get out of his position it's too late he already kind of locked himself into it but he is going to make a move all right let's see who else he breaks me black both does he piss everyone off definitely pissing red off no he piss he he sues into red okay red says thanks he stacks on my border hmm You're not, you're not breaking me, man. <laughs> you're not breaking me, man. <laughs> no way, no how. What's up, Sapiro? Why doesn't black prevent red from getting Europe every round? Because we're allies, right? Me, white, and black are all getting plus five. So it's not in black. It wasn't in black's interest to fuck with red because we were all getting the same. Long-term, our interests were to work together to kill white, which they still are. Let's see if Red just kills White here. If he takes Australia but doesn't kill White, he accepts... Ooh, Red accepts a downgrade. Red accepts a downgrade. I hate that. You've just allowed White to bully himself into a better position. Red goes from hero to zero with that move. Okay. You better too. Red loves me. How much do you love me, though? Ooh. 
Not very much. Pete's million dollar question. Should I call out of work 45 minutes? How is it a million dollar question? Are you going to make a million dollars today? Really? Stop flirting with ready for game. Well, if you are going to make a million dollars today, I would say you don't call into work, sir. Uh, <laughs> no way, no how. Hmm. Yeah, too many unknown variables this game. Black is very strong. Black might just win this game by staying out of trouble. You got scruffed. It's the Pete, man. Hello. Hello, hello. You think spaghetti with Nutella is a legit meal? I do not. Nothing about that sounds legit to me. Yeah, Black is the ultimate passive player here. He thinks cottage cheese and fruit. No, uh, maple. Cottage cheese and maple. Or jam. I've enjoyed. My daughter likes pasta with syrup because of the elf movie. Does elf do that? <laughs> Red is the kind of player that would sit in the corner while white raw dogs his wife. Did you just come in, Kyle? Because we actually saw we actually saw quite the board shake up. Red and white have inverted position. You saw the downgrade? Okay, right on. <laughs> embarrassing, huh? <laughs> it was an embarrassing move. Oh, baby. Thank you, Polydramas. Heck yes. This is the real dude. Oh, baby. How much do you love about me? About six inches. That's all you get. You just six inches. Not, uh, not all that impressive, sir. Uh, I love you. Long time is the answer. That's how much I love you. Long time. Death row for the Peatman tomorrow. What is your last meal? Crabs legs. Infinite crabs legs. With a side of pussy. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. I, that's not my last. That wouldn't be my last meal or anything, would it? <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, uh, <laughs> could you could you actually put if you were on death row? Could you put that as an option? Mom is like nom nom nom. Aside of what you know what I'm saying, Tombstone. I would give white EU so red feels like he needs to suicide white. No, no, red should suicide white on his own accord. Otherwise, he just accepts the downgrade. God, this is a really good choice for death row. Hi -yo! I just get one meal. That's all I want. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby, we're stirring it up now. Whoa! Really stirring the. Whoa! And a whoppa! And a whoppa da peepa! Da poopa pa po! Yeah, and breaks me. Yep. And I like it. Okay. I actually, I actually got the best. Um, I got the best end of this deal. Yes. And I'm next to act. And I'm next to act. See if Black knows how to play. So I'm second. No, I'm I'm the lead. I'm the lead by ten troops. Yeah, I, I mean, look, I don't think White had many options. Once I denied him the upgrade. Don't break everything I have. Give me something, right? Why do you break everything I have? Now I have to sue you. I'm gonna hit my, okay, he feeds me to red? 
That's some scumbag fucking bullshit. Fuck that guy. That's some scumbag bullshit. Left. Ah! Too bad. I help out Red. Fairweather friend indeed. Hmm. There you have it, folks. I gave Black SA and yeah, and I and I avenged Red. I'm being punished for my good nature. Black's an opportunist, so is Red. I but yeah, I've been nothing but nice to either of these guys. Well, too bad, right? Too bad for me. Yeah, it doesn't really win Black the game either. Right, Black just gets eaten now. What the f kind of play was this? Eric Newitz, you're not good. You're not very good, sir. <laughs> Try harder next time. <laughs> what the f was that? All right, so ideas for rank. So red and black there are likely not higher than intermediates, right? White is pro You think red's a master? Let's find out. Okay, red is a master. There you have it. You would like to be friends? Suck my f King cock. <laughs> okay. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck.